Hi everybody, it's Fall Guy Night 22. You know what time it is? It's fucking Psycho Pass time. <laughs> fucking great episode again. God damn it. And you know what? Guess what? Two more episodes. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Two more. That's it. That's it. I'll bug it out. Okay. This is one. This one was called Episode Twenty, where justice is found. This shit was so fucking good. Five out of five. No questions asked. Um, beginning part of the episode, we got Akane, and she's going in. She's going into the tunnel, you know, and. And you know she's asking where, where, where are you taking me, and she's and and basically she's talking to the Sibley system. That's what she's talking to. She's talking to the Sibley system through the gun, the Dominator, and they're going and they're going down the stairs. After that scene, we go to Makishima. Oh man, Makishima! Damn, motherfucker! This was this episode was really fucking good, and you know why it was really fucking good. Within this episode, I don't know if you could, could say it was a flashback, but you know, you know, you know, in those instances in anime, in like an anime episode where you got a character and they're like almost reflecting on some things. That's what happened in this episode, and I liked the fuck out of it. That was, oh my god, that was such an awesome scene. But I'll get into that later. So we got Makishima, he's talking to the guy who runs the agricultural, agricultural, you know, food, supply, everything. Because, you know, in this world, they fired all the farmers and everything. It's all automated. And he's talking to this guy, and he's basically trying to find out how, you know, to switch it up, how you, you, you can... You could turn the the food into actually a virus, more or less, and that's when he kills his mother. <clears throat> Pretty much, that's what happened. And he was, you know, finding out how you basically what happens is instead of producing uh, having the virus attack the pests, it attacks the food. Pretty much, that was the whole gist. And he kills this guy, he slices his throat. And he does some other stuff too. Um, Kogam Kogami shows up before, after he leaves, and he sees like a notice on the, he sees the screen of a computer and everything, and he realizes he's too late to save this guy. After that, Akane. This scene with Akane finding out the truth, I swear to you, it is the most dramatic scene. I've seen in this series, well, at least in this episode. She was, like, flipping out, really flipping out, and she could not believe it. And basically, the Sibley system was saying that she was an important person. And basically, basically it's as you, you, you would surmise from the Sibley system. They're using people's brains, and the brains they're using are the wrong brains to use. And you see, they're explaining the Sibley system. It's the Sibley system specifically. It's not the chief. It's them. They're, they're talking to her. And she's freaking out. Says, no, no, no. And she is going crazy balls on it. Saying this is wrong and everything. And they basically, and they're telling her, you know, they basically wanted Makishima. And she was, she was pissed. <laughs> Akane, she was pretty pissed. And that's when she finds out they killed Akari. Kagari. And that was like, let me tell you something. I don't know in this series what people think about Akane. She got my vote. I mean, early on in this series, she was, eh, she was like, ditz. But in this episode, oh man, she went balls deep. She went balls deep, man. She went balls deep. Yeah. 
And basically, during this, they, 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 they simply was explaining the whole system and how, and and they even asked, this, this, this system, they were talking, she was talking, this the system was talking to her and was being a bitch, the system, as it was talking to her. Um, and they were asking her, do you feel that the Sibley system, it's better that it does, it, 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 you know, goes back to before having it. And she couldn't say yes or no, because it, it's basically the whole thing with the, the society and, and it, they needed it and they needed to, you know, uh, to coexist, to, to continue normal, peaceful society. And that's when we have this, oh my God, I love this scene. This scene was like, oh my God. She starts talking to people, like we see a, a flash, it's like, it's like a flashback, but almost like a reminisce. She's talking to her friend, the one who died, and how, you know, the, the scores and everything. And goes from that to talking to Kagari, and she's crying when she's talking to him. That whole scene of, of you know, uh, you know, that you don't, you don't, you don't control your own faith. You know, why, why, why say, why would you know what your reason you were born and everything and that whole bit. And then she goes from that to talking to Kishima. And that scene, I was like, yes, because she was saying to him, that she fully understands now a little bit of what he meant. I was like, yes. So it was like almost that realization for Akane where she's saying to herself, now I understand that this system, it's better off. We never had it to begin with. And she has a meeting, a talk then. She's talking to her friend. And it was pretty teary-eyed. That died, and, and, and she said, I was happy and everything. It was a really sad moment. Then, you go from that, she's in the car, she's driving, and she's talking to Gino, and like, get your ass over here, and we gotta talk. And I forgot the also, there was a scene with, with the Sibley system talking to her about you, you, there needs to be a sense of leadership, seeing as how Kogami left, and Agari is gone, and Gino is not reliable. She makes a fucking deal. With a sibling system, and says, "I will get you Makishima alive, but you have to promise me that we you will get Kogami back alive without execution. He will not be executed." And they doesn't compute. She says, "No, we can't do that." And then she points the gun to her chest and says, "You better do it, bitch. Or if not, I'll kill myself, and you'll lose another pawn." And then she, third sibling system agrees, and that uh, they get Makishima alive, Kogami won't be killed or executed. That's the bit. That, that that's the deal. So then after that, she arrives, talking to Gino and everything, and she's like, all of a sudden, Akane, she grew big balls. I know that's silly to say, but man, she grew big balls, like she's doing this and that, she's examining the crime scene, oh no, we have to do this, and she she initiates that, that basically, it was Makishima who killed this man, and so on and so forth, and then there's this scene when Gino, Gino is looking at her, and she sees Kogami. I was like, yeah, this was great. And basically she's inducing that Kogami knows and, and he's she's going in, getting the, she's actually going into the guy's throat because apparently in his, his cause he was cut by, you know, Makishima and grabbing the communicator that he left behind Kogami and he's explained everything that Makishima is trying to do. And it's like, Oh shit! And basically, they now know where he is, and it's basically he's like like I said before, he's at that farm place. He's at the place that controls the agriculture that he's going to try to release a virus. 
And, yeah. And basically what also happened was Makishima cut out this guy's eyeballs because he needs it to, to operate the machine. After that, they all get ready to go and stop Kogami from doing it. I asked, and, and, he, and Mikishi was right in the, the machine, and he says, let's begin and everything, and that's where it ends. I can't make this shit up if even I tried. Akane for the motherfucking win. I know Uber Akari likes Mikishima, but man, you gotta give props to Akane. She was like, she found out the truth. She knew, she found out everything. Not even Kogami knows that a, a Kagari is dead. She knows he's dead, and yet she's going through this. Why? Because she wants to catch uh, Makishima, because she wants to stop this all from happening. She wants to save Kogami. This was awesome. This episode was great. There are two more left, people. Two more left. This is going to get a full overview for me. It will probably happen in the final episode. After I look at that episode, I will do the video of the episode review, and then I will just, during that episode review, give a rating for the series as a whole. And I might do a video after that. It's two weeks from now, so we'll have to wait and see. After that, where I then go into details of saying, where I place this. Where I place this as far as where it belongs in anime. In, in the history of all the animes that come out in the 2012, where I put it. You know? Yeah, give me a gist. But overall, this was a great episode. I love the flashback that they did there right in the middle. It was really interesting. It was like, it was just putting things together. I liked the flow of this episode of Psychopaths. Two more left, people. Oh, man. Two more left. It's just the final... This is the final confrontation. Kogami, Makishima, and Akane with everyone else trying to stop Kogami from killing Makishima. I mean, the, and the, the thing that's, that, that shocks me more often of this is this. She found out the truth. She knows everything, Ugami, uh, Akane. She knows everything. I will not be shocked if they stop him, Makishima, and they stop Kogami. They disable the Sibley system. I will not be shocked if that happens. I swear to you, I will not be shocked. But overall, this gets a 5 out of 5. Two more people. Two more! You've got to get on the show. You have to start watching this show. You have to start watching this show. This show. This anime. Psycho Pass for the motherfucking win. And that's all I got for you guys. This is Balkan I-22. I'll see you guys later. Oh, this, this episode was so good. Oh, I got to go now. To, to get the psychopaths fandom out of my brain.